Lesson 4 Camera Animation Welcome to the Camera Animation Tutorial for Keyshot. In this video, we will talk about the different types of animation that can be created within Keyshot. In this video, we will talk about the different types of animation that can be created within Keyshot. A key distinction between part and camera animation is that camera animation need to be applied to a particular camera or view set. You can see a list of all the cameras used under the cameras list in the scene tree. In your animation timeline, you can open the animation wizard and you can get a preview of the different types of camera animation. We can create a camera orbit, a camera zoom, a camera inclination, translation, a camera switch event, which is not mentioned here because of the old version of Keyshot is used to switch from one camera to the other camera in our animation timeline. First select orbit from the list of events and then hit next. The list then asks which camera will you prefer to work with. You can sele select the existing camera from the list or you can add your own camera and call it camera 1 and then hit next. My timeline will now be populated with def default orbit animation of 360 degrees over 5 seconds. Also add in some motion easing. When you hit finish, you will see the animation setting in your animation timeline. Setting in your animation timeline. You can scale your animation by zooming in with the help of the slider on the top right corner in your timeline. You can preview the animation by playing the by hitting the play button. By default the animation will loop which can be disabled. This is also a good time to enable performance mode in order to see faster result in the real time. Now you will see under your scene tree that your orbit animation has been applied to your camera animation one. You can enable or disable from seeing the animation by toggling between the check box associated with it. If you choose another animation as your animation camera, you will notice the animation no longer has anything in it. But since we do not have another animation and another camera, you can see that when you play around with four, three to four or two to three cameras. To get back the animation you need to get set the to set the animated camera as your active camera. You can add another animation to the existing one by going to the animation wizard. Select zoom and use the camera you made for the orbit. Since this model was imported respecting the original units, the units in my animation settings will be in millimeters. In this case, increase the zoom to 300mm and or add some motion easing and hit finish. With camera, I'm also gonna tell you about the camera switch event even though it is not mentioned out here. With camera switch event, we can change the camera in our animation timeline. Add another camera to use as a starting point for this animation. Use a look at command in your scene tree to center the camera on a particular piece of geometry. Now go to the camera tab in your project window. Adjust the camera settings and save this as a new camera called animation camera 2. Select the animation wizard again and add another orbit. Then select the new camera as the starting point and change the degree to 90 so that we can get a swerve moment around our object. Also add a linear ease in and have the animation start at the 5 second mark so that we can transition to it after our first animation. Also add an inclination to this camera using the animation wizard. Set a negative value for the camera motion so that the camera moves in the downward motion. Offset the sh start to 5 seconds and add in some motion easing. We can preview a part of the animation by hitting the play button. Now add a camera switch event with the help of animation wizard and press next. First select the camera, first select the starting camera, press next and then select the camera you want to switch to. Sele set the camera switch at 5 seconds so the switch happens after the first animation. When you hit finish, you will notice an orange dot on the timeline which respects the, which represents the switch event. When you make the other camera active, you can see the timeline with the entire 10 second animation represented. When you hit play, you can preview the entire animation with all the camera movements and transitions. Thank you. You can try this by downloading Keyshot 5 and playing with the switch animation because the switch animation is the latest addition to Keyshot 5. 